happy Friday Eve. I wanted to pop on here because I promised a few people that I would do a video, a quick video on things that you can do in the meantime especially the first six months that can help you kind of keep your mind off of the whole grow out because the first six months is super, super hard. So I, I don't know, this might be a little bit weird, but I really do believe that if you start um, kind of documenting it, you can kind of remove yourself from it. And as weird as that is by kind of looking at it, I mean, I, there's a paradox because it's kind of that like a what is it a watch pot never boils kind of thing but then there is also this where you kind of put your lab coat on and you be, kind of become the observer of this transformation and I mean that's kind of how I started I posted it and then you you will find so many people that are related to it that will relate to it so I'm I'm really a strong strong advocate on creating another profile be an alias it doesn't even have to be your name, but it has just your gray hair stuff on there. So maybe some affirmation and just gray hair stuff. And speaking of that, my so-called reality, again, if you go there, hit the subscribe. I have a survival guide that it's just like a quick that you could put up on your mirror or on your uh, refrigerator that will help you motivate you for the first six months. But back to the really documenting it will actually make it go by faster because you're really analyzing it. And it's so funny because I, you know, I recently posted a picture of kind of the whole process and it's so crazy because when I'm looking back at my phone, I, it's like, I have a hard time. I, I didn't really take that many pictures of myself, definitely in selfie mode. Uh, so it's hard sometimes to find pictures of just me with the dark hair because I just really wasn't, you know, obsessed with taking pictures with myself or the hair. And so you are gonna, it's gonna feel a little weird, but it's the only time in your life you're ever gonna, you know, maybe do this. I mean, unless you hate it and you, you know, recolor it and then try it again. But it is so cool to go back and now that I watch that transition and to see kind of where I was emotionally from the beginning to the end. I mean, and even my smile, how, you know, I'm a little uh, at the beginning and then I'm like full smile, like, crazy like I'm some kind of crazy influencer by the end because it is so much more than hair. Um, I know that that's a theme everybody talks about but I am going to expand on that and I'm going to do on Sundays I'm going to do Sunday hair brunch and I'm going to do lives on Sunday and I'm going to bring a silver sister on so I I am obsessed with some of you out there um, especially on my Instagram feed and I'm going to hunt you and stalk you and I want to know I'm, I'm so curious especially the people that are still like right in the middle um, because you'll find that a lot of people once they get to the other side and then you have the people that are six months and they're like oh my gosh I just want it to be done and then there's people like me that it's like you you miss that transition because you get used to that documentation if you're documenting as it goes then you really see how fast it can really go when it's I mean when you can sum it up in a minute video but I think that that is a very cool and even if you hey if you don't know anything about social media, I am I can help you with that. You can go to mysocalledreality.com, <clears throat> excuse me, and reach out to me there. I, I'm working with somebody right now that I'm just, you know, educating them on just social media. I mean, we're kind of in that bracket where, you know, there's a lot of technology and we've got, you know, boomer slash uh, uh, generation X. And so if you just want to learn something new and even post you know, like I said, if you make a, a gray hair channel just for yourself and you just start posting, it's just a fun way to a document it. You don't really have to share it. And then you could get other people that are kind of in your pod. And I mean, the goal is, is that we create these networks online and then we build up our confidence so that we can go out into our real life networks and spread this kind of new identity of, you know, it's okay to have a young face and gray hair and and go for it. So I, you know, I know that that's maybe not comfortable for everybody to want to document it because they feel weird about taking pictures, but 
damn it, we're all going to be dead soon and nobody's going to remember. So this is the youngest and hottest you're ever going to be. And so take advantage of it because I promise you in 10 years, you are going to look back to this day and be like, oh my gosh, I should have done that boudoir shoot or I should have done that because, oh my gosh, I thought I was this and that then. So take advantage of it. You know, the pretty is as pretty as it's going to be. And, you know, document it, enjoy it bask in it. You don't have to, you can just be for you, but do it. I'm telling you. And if you need help, reach out to me, get on my website and I, I can help you with that. Because I think that is one thing that will honestly, it will make the first six months go by super, super, super fast that. And then just kind of remember um, having your plan. You know, I think that that's a big thing. You kind of toy with it. And if you're watching all these videos and you're attracted to a channel like mine, then you're already kind of priming yourself up, right? You're watching these videos, you're watching to see how people are doing it. So you're kind of building up that confidence. So, well, the next thing is, is bringing that more into a concrete plan of, okay, this is what I'm going to do if I don't like my pattern or, you know, I'm going to do highlights and lowlights, or I'm going to go cold turkey, or I'm going to, you know, do the pixie because I know I can rock a, a short do and I, and I have a plan for so-and-so's wedding. So if you have something that's like kind of, you know, somewhat intentional and set, then that's going to set you up. And then you make that jump. And I'm telling you, uh, and then, you know, the other part, which I'm, I'm going to do a whole nother video on that, which is uh, your inner circle. That is something that you definitely want to, um, I think that's the hardest part right at that six month mark. And I have said that more into it, but you do want to make sure that you are in, if you are in a insecure little area that you want to make sure that you kind of isolate yourself as far as, you know, when you are going to approach, I don't know, the mother-in-law or your mom or somebody that you know has a tendency to just kind of no filter, say something, then you just want to make sure that you before you enter into that space that you kind of prepare yourself a little bit. And uh, again, I'll go, I'll do another video that's more in depth, but honestly, I'm telling you, I know it's silly and it might be a little weird, but it's going to, it will really be helpful to document it. And even if it's just on your phone and you save a whole thing, but I do think having that community. And like I said, even if it's, a, if it's an alias and nobody else knows about it, it is super fun. And it's enlightening to see so how so many beautiful minds and people are that are dealing with the same thing. So anyway, that was quick. It's getting hot. I got, it's like, I think going to be 120, but oh my gosh, I have had a frozen shoulder random, but a, full, a frozen shoulder for the last two days and have been in so much pain. And I woke up this morning as if it was a delusional illusion that I was having for the last two days. I mean, my arm has, I mean, no pain. So I don't know if it like snapped back into position, but holy moly, there's nothing that makes you feel so thankful than when something doesn't work on your body. And then when you get it back with that, I mean, oh my gosh, I'm just so thankful. So I'm thankful for that. I'm th and I wanna thank all the new subscribers. I'm thankful for you and the love and support. Thank you for being, and thank you for being with me. And I'll keep everybody posted on the Sunday hair brunch. I do not believe I'm going to be able to get it done this Sunday, but definitely next Sunday. So I have a few people lined that I'm working on lining up. Put in the comments if there's anybody that you want me to interview or, uh, you know, put on the list or go after stock, you know. But I think it's going to be fun. Basically, I just want to know what they do in their other life and what uh, the impact has been on the, the gray hair transition. So I'm, I'm excited about kind of expanding this and uh, thank you for being with me. Have a great day. Mwah.